Gav Gaming TV. Today we are looking at Star Citizen again and we are with Drake Interplanetary. They have a new concept ship out. It is the Drake Dragonfly, as you can see from the screen in front of you. Um, on a quick note guys, 2.4 is on the live servers. Go try it if you haven't. Uh, I tried it on the uh, the test servers and loads and loads of stuff in it. Awesome, give it a whirl. Anyways, back to this. So, the Drake Dragonfly is a small, I would say, tactical ship. Um, lightly armored, light weapons on it, but does have its uses. I'll explain them later on. Uh, as you see here, I'll bring up a bigger picture. Awesome looking ship, I have to say. Does look the bee's knees. Yellow jacket is the version you will get if you get the concept cell one. You can change it to the black one, which looks awesome and I think would be best for special operations. Sneaking around and that sort of thing. Um, flick through the pictures, you'll see it just looks amazing. Really, really nice design. Love the concept of it. And love the artwork. I mean, how cool does that look? Just amazing. Love the aesthetics, love the look of it. As you see, it is a two seater. Here you see uh, all the components, which are uh, a new type of component. It is um, because it's such a small ship, obviously, the normal ship components don't fit, they're too big. So what they're doing for this is they are uh, making like a small component set for vehicles. So uh, this is going to be the sort of components that you get on all the vehicles that are coming out. So stuff like your uh, wee buggy, your jeeps, that sort of thing, are going to have these component sets on. So this is looking really, really cool. Uh, this is a breakdown version. Now if you look at this, looks like a Van Duel version of it because their stuff looks a bit like this, you know, broken down and bare bones sort of thing that actually looks quite cool, I do like the look of that um, as we flick through just just looks amazing, but if you look at it to me do not have that look of a Star Wars speeder in the ground mode as you see from this one, it does go on land you've got a ground mode Space mode, compact mode. Compact mode is obviously for storage and stuff like that. Um, now, obviously, you're not going to be able to transition from space to ground because it's too small. The shields are like hardly anything, and you'll be toast within seconds. But chuck a couple of these in your transport ship. You know, maybe you've got a cutlass or a, a caterpillar or a freelancer, something like that get a couple of them in the back, you and the boys can go down, land on a planet, do some racing, mess around, you know, do some jumps and whatnot, back onto the transport ship, bosh, off you go back to space. Um, they're really cool, I love the, love the look of them. Uh, as you see there, they've got gravity, um, grav lev plates underneath, which allow them to go on land, and then uh, the arms just roll back for space mode, and then compact is what it says um, obviously this stuff here is some of the caterpillar update I'm looking amazing and I can't wait to get my hands on them because I do actually have a caterpillar so looking forward to that here we are back with the dragonfly uh, as you see here going through some wreckage you know I might be searching for bits and bytes you could pick up two wee small storage containers on the back of this um, so you know, go out, grab a few bits and bats, come back. Uh, here we have a Star Wars uh, picture cruising along on the ground. Now, I can see this thing coming in for special operations. Got a guy in the back. You can use any FPS weapon apparently. Um, with the size of it, apparently it's supposed to be extremely agile and you know because of its size it'd be hard to hit 
here we have two stored away inside a caterpillar cargo bay so we get a rough idea of how big they are you could probably have four or five of these maybe in a cat um or four to six if you have one either side so you know you can have a good little a group of these now yellow jacket looks cool you know showy but i can see these because the two man small agile fast i can see the black ones getting used a lot if we skip along here now imagine if you will you're being a sneaky wee pirate or even a bounty hunter you've got your cutlass nesting behind a meteorite large rock space station you know just hiding around a couple of these bad boys in the back ship flies in you think i'm having that son you want to do a little bit of special operations to sneak across the get into the ship or even sneak across to get into a space station or what have you a couple of these black uh, black bad boys get some guys on the back you know a couple of main operators fire these at the back of your uh, cargo bay off you sneak across you know the small inconspicuous hard to spot hard to hit fly across there do whatever you need to do get back nobody will even know you've gone so you know that can be done in space on land um i'm assuming depending on how strong the uh graveler is you could probably even fly near the ground in a cargo ship and these guys can fly out the back off they go you know do whatever you land quick pick up and away you go um i can see these being used a lot for sneaky stuff special operation stuff we need to sneak in and out of places uh, not so much yellow one because let's face it talk about shouting i'm here i'm here i'm here but they are cool love the look of them um obviously there's a package where you can get two of them but uh they look cool they are going to be handy for stuff there is a brochure you can download uh drake's plans one which is pretty cool um i downloaded another quick nosy really really lovely brochure i love the brochures that uh star citizen put out and uh, I have all of them so far. I haven't, I've printed a couple of them, but not all of them. You see the guy flying off the back. Um, down here, I'll go to the concept cell page to look at these properly. So they are $42. I think that is the UK price with tax included. You get the eye jacket, a poster, lifetime insurance, a model, and a self land hanger. Um, I'll go through the, the spiel here. It says the Dragonfly is the perfect snub ship for anyone looking to live on the edge. Uh, with nothing separating a pilot from the dangers of space, the Dragonfly is as much of an adventure as a ship. Dual mode conversion allows the Dragonfly to operate on the ground or in space, and a rear facing second seat means you can even take a passenger. This exclusive yellow jacket version is available only for the concept sale. So, it's cool let's face it uh said kind of back carrying the fps weapon um the do, 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 do. as i said the uh the weapons and shields and all that are uh coming soon because they haven't figured that bit out yet with it being such a new uh size of equipment um but yeah it's gonna be cool it's gonna be handy i haven't got one yet um i was thinking about it but to be honest i have enough stuff and um, i want to see what else they bring out for land use this looks cool but to me it's a bit star warsy uh, looks a lot like a speeder to me you know the imperial speeders but they are really cool if i had the spare cash i will definitely get one but i don't um but uh they do look cool when they do become hanger ready or flight ready fingers crossed i can get my hands on one uh hopefully using my wreck because i have so much wreck um 
I'm going to hire one out and have a try it, test it, and show you guys what it's like. Um, you know, again, I wouldn't really be using it in combat in space. Special operations, I think, is where it's going to be used the most. Because if you get hit by a, a, a normal sized ship weapon, your shield's gone and you're probably going to be splattered all over the thing before it explodes. Um, so the shields do encompass you and your passengers, so yeah, bit of protection from gunfire maybe, but uh, that's probably about it. You know, small arms fire. But uh, yeah, looks awesome. Uh, if you want to get it, guys, go over to the Star Citizen website. It's in the ship sales part. Just go to Drake into Planetary and uh, click on that add to cart and buy it. Uh, if anybody wants to uh, uh, send me one, go for it. <laughs> uh, I mean, game is guy for one actual. Um, but yeah, they are a cool, cool looking ship, and. Uh, Fingers crossed I'll get to test one when they come out, which I don't know what it's going to be as a concept. Could be ages away, could be in a couple of months. Um, but yeah, it is cool. So guys, that's a quick look at the Dragonfly. Any questions, comments, anything like that, you know what to do guys, check down below. Please give us a thumbs up on the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and take a look through my channel. See what else you want to uh, have a look at and uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you want to build a rig that can run Star Citizen with no bother, uh, or any game from now into the future, if you use the link that's down below in the, uh, the description, I'll take it to Overclockers. Uh, use that link whenever you're buying anything, and uh, we'll help my channel get along. As let's face it, this sort of stuff ain't cheap. Trying to get a computer going, trying to you know get games enough reviews ain't cheap, and I need the cash. So, anything you can do to help, guys, please do. Uh, I have a Twitch channel as well. You can go to and watch when I do stream, when I have the time. Uh, there's a donation key on that. Also, if you keep an eye on my Facebook and Twitter accounts, you will see uh, updates on videos I'm putting out, updates on games that I'm watching, any information about my rig build, etc. Uh, I've actually just built a new one, so I'm trying to get a video and that done for it. Waiting for a new microphone to arrive so I can. Uh, Got a better quality of voice over but uh yeah keeping on all my uh, channels guys and uh thanks for watching see you in the bus